Have you ever tried to stream a movie only to stare at that dreaded buffering circle? You pay good money for your internet service. So why does it feel like you're stuck in the digital slow lane? The problem might not be your internet provider. Often the culprit is your own Wi-Fi setup. Your wireless signal is like a radio broadcast. Several things can mess with the reception. If your router is tucked away in a corner of your basement, its signal has to travel a long way. That distance weakens the signal before it reaches your devices. Think of it like trying to hear a whisper from across a crowded room. Physical obstacles are another major Wi-Fi killer. Thick walls, brick, concrete, plaster, large metal objects like refrigerators, even a fish tank. Water absorbs signals. Your home's layout and construction materials can turn a superhighway into a winding country road with stop signs. Don't forget electronic interference. Before you start moving furniture or changing settings, you need a baseline. You can't know if you've made things better if you don't know how slow they are right now. This is where a speed test comes in. It's a simple tool that measures your current internet connection. It tells you three important things, your download speed, your upload speed, your ping. Running a speed test is incredibly easy. You don't need any special software. Pick one and click the big go or start button. The test will take about 30 seconds to a minute to run. Close out those extra browser tabs and pause any downloads to get a clear picture. Download and upload speeds are measured in megabits per second, or MBPs. For most families, a download speed of 100 MBPs is plenty for streaming, browsing, and gaming. If you're paying for a 200 MBPs plan but your test shows you're only getting 40 MBPs, you know there's a problem. Test your speed in different areas of your home. First, test it while standing right next to your router. This gives you an idea of the maximum speed. One of the easiest and most effective Wi-Fi hacks doesn't cost a dime. It's all about location, location, location. Where is your router right now? If it's stuffed in a closet, hidden behind the TV, or banished to the basement, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Wi-Fi signals radiate outwards from your router in all directions like ripples in a pond. Place your router in a central location. Think main floor, hallway, living room. Think vertically. Don't leave it on the floor. Get it up high. Bookshelf, side table, wall mount, antennas pointing straight up. Keep it away from thick walls, concrete, brick. Give it breathing room from large metal objects, filing cabinet, stainless steel refrigerator. These can create dead zones. Keep it three feet away from other electronics. Take 15 minutes to find that spot. It's the single biggest free improvement. Now that your router is in the perfect spot, it's time for a little digital tune-up. Let's start with its brain, the firmware. Firmware is the essential software that runs your router. Manufacturers release updates to fix bugs, patch security holes, and often improve performance. Updating it is crucial. Most modern routers can update themselves automatically. Type your router IP into a browser, 192.168.1.1. Next, let's talk about security. Does your Wi-Fi have a password? If not, you need to set one right now. An open network is an invitation. They could be gobbling up your bandwidth or doing illegal things on your connection. Make sure you're using WPA2 or WPA3 security. Create a strong, unique password. Mix upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. A strong password is your digital deadbolt. Think about all the devices connected to your network. Every single one takes a piece of the Wi-Fi pie. If you have old devices you no longer use, disconnect them. Most router admin pages have a connected devices list. Go through it and kick off anything you don't recognize. One last quick tip, reboot your router. I know it's the oldest trick, but it works. Unplug your router, wait a full 30 seconds, then plug it back in. Make it a habit to reboot once a month. It's a simple task that keeps your Wi-Fi running smoothly. You've moved your router, updated the firmware, kicked off freeloaders. But what if your Wi-Fi is still struggling? If your router is more than five years old, it might be time for an upgrade. Router technology has improved dramatically. Newer routers with Wi-Fi 6 are built for the modern home. Better at handling dozens of devices without slowing down. Faster speeds, better range. Upgrading your router can transform your home internet. Large home, multiple floors, brick walls, plaster walls, even a new router might not reach every corner. Wi-Fi extender or mesh system. Extender picks up your router's signal and rebroadcasts it, extending reach into dead zones. For best coverage, consider a mesh Wi-Fi system. Multiple nodes work together. Blanket your home in one seamless network. Walk from basement to attic during a call without drops. Mesh systems are smarter than extenders, automatically routing traffic through the fastest path. After trying these tips, what can you expect? 
Real, measurable improvement. Run a speed test again in your former dead zones. Videos stream without buffering. Web pages load instantly. Video calls clear and stable. Wi-Fi feels more reliable and consistent throughout your home. Take an hour this weekend and give your Wi-Fi a tune-up. You'll be amazed at what a few simple changes can do.